All right, so I have the files for the next uh, version of the mod. I'm not sure if it's the most recent, but it's definitely not alpha version, so I'll just have to figure out how to install them. So I'll, I'm, I'm not even sure I can, but if I, if if it is possible, then I'll just resume the video when I get that fixed and set up. All right, so I managed to get the mod installed. And um, the reason I know this is because the music has changed, and before it was just the same music, so it's only, um, this is 1.6, which is just a step further, so it's not like there have been massive changes, just slight tweaks, probably. However, they probably fixed a lot of the bugs and stuff that happened, like, last time we, we couldn't exit out of the, um, I don't even know what it was called. But the place where you change the uh, variables, you you couldn't straight exit out of there, or else it would crash the game. You had to go somewhere else and then exit out of there. I'll I'll explain once I get past all this text. So yeah, ask a question. Yeah, super deluxe. Let's see if they showed this. Ooh, next menu. This is interesting. Yeah, because before. All right. So what we had to do is here super deluxe. And then, yeah, they changed it, so never mind, it actually works. Because before, we would go here, and then we would go here, or no, I don't remember what we'd do, but bef now we know it works, that's good. Alright, now it's just as, let's see, let's see, I'm pretty sure we've asked all these. This is the one that changes it to the other um, character. Yeah, we have asked all these, but I'm interested in some of these other ones. Let's see. Call all idols. We haven't touched any of these. I wish there was an option. There might be an option where you can go to the previous page. So, like, if you go next menu, no, you can't go previous menu. Unfortunately, you have to go all the way back, but I don't even think we'll need to be on the first menu for this because we've done all this before. Yeah, we have done all this. It's just these are all new. Call all idols. I wonder what that does. Oh, this is just every <laughs> this is every single idol dialogue. So that's yeah, we're gonna wanna like somehow break this or like stop it, but yeah, this is just literally also we should look at the settings, see if anything has changed. Let's see. Nope, nothing has changed in terms of settings. Just those little additions. I'm not sure if this is the latest build because like I'm sort of out of the know now ever since the modding website got taken down. Or it was not taken down, but ever since the owner of the website just, like, ever since the owner took down the website, I've been out of the know. So this is actually, and also I noticed they updated her her character model, which is, it's pretty nice. It's it's cleaner and smoother. So it's, it's like, a, the old one had, like, this, it just feels different. I can't, like, point out the differences. I just know it's different, and it feels different. So it's also got a really pointy chin. Yeah, th this is all old text. I wonder if we can stop this. Also, they changed the, um, I'm pretty sure they changed the text box, like, or the font. And they also probably changed the size of the, uh, of the words. I'm not entirely sure, but it, it, everything looks a bit different. So, let's see. Yeah, also, yeah, they definitely made this smaller. I wonder if this just, if this just goes, if this keeps going, then there's no way I can stop this, but if it stops in between, oh, yeah, all right, so call idols is just like, yeah, we've, there are, so it looks like there are no new, like, active questions. It's only probably idle information, but uh, keep thinking next page is at the top, but it's actually at the bottom. Expression testing. Which expression? I have no clue what. <sighs> expression per face, right? So happy. What the hell did I just do? What is that? Let's let's not. I. That's literally. Hold on. This this has to be some sort of character. I don't know who it is, but. Yeah. Let's let's go back. Expression testing. Um sad oh it's just anything leads to this 
I still have no clue who that is. What if I just leave it like this? I want to see what happens if we get some idle dialogue with that character. Access Dreamlog. That broke the game. Let's reload it. So it looks like some parts are still unfinished, but hopefully this actually works, reloading the game. So it looks like I know not to click that. Did I actually just destroy the game? Oh no, this is this is um this is what she's done. She did this before when we would try to exit out the um the uh I forgot I already forgot the game files. I don't know. <laughs> Shame on you. Let's see. Oh, it's actually normal now. Nope. I'm gonna reopen the mod without any repercussions whatsoever. So can can I actually not open the mod? Oh, I can. Good, good, good. So then again, this is still an alpha stage. It's not like it moved from alpha to beta. It's just literally the next release of the alpha mod. So, that's to be expected. Also, same thing on the right. Alright. Yeah, that's been a while. About 10 seconds. Oh, super deluxe. This next menu. Change background. This is not coded yet. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, she's gone. Toggle white bloom. Are you sure you want to toggle the white bloom? I have no clue what that is. Caused the majority of the GPU usage back then. Just wanted to make sure you knew that beforehand. The GPU usage. So that's what's been causing my... That's what's been stressing the computer. I don't know what white bloom is. Oh, that's this. Alright, let's disable it. Wait, so... Oh, I have to toggle it again. Untoggle it. That's the stuff in the background. That's actually... There we go. Much better. I don't want to kill the laptop trying to run this unfinished mod. Alpha stage mod. Let's see. But still, I'm I'm curious as to what expression testing. So we have happy, sad. What's content is like the middle. All right. So just anything leads to this. All right. Never mind. Oh. So I guess no. It just brings it up for um. All it does is it brings it up for expression testing. All it does is it brings up anything you type. I could probably type like a letter. Yeah, anything. It doesn't even have to be. It just brings up this silhouette. This has to be some sort of character from some anime. I don't know, but it's not really important because when we, uh, actually I want to show this. Alright, that's that's fine. Let's see, so never mind. They also gave her eyebrows, which is nice. Before she didn't, but now I'm just I'm just gonna sit and wait for idle text. Good to know it won't kill the laptop trying to do that because the white blooms out of the picture. This is actually pretty nice. So this is basically Alright, so before that. So now that I've played the Natsuki mod, these two are basically like I don't think there's a Sayori mod, or at the very least I haven't heard of it. But this isn't the only other mod now. That's like in After Story. Because now the Natsuki mod exists. So that's a thing. Let's talk about something. Let's see. Oh, this is new dialogue. Where did my mouse go? Alright, there. I know what before we got here, you saw me cutting my wrists. I just do it because it feels good. I'm sorry, that's not. Oh, that's that's a new face. I like that. So it's there's probably much more that's been updated than. I can see just by clicking buttons. So, and this is, they probably gave her new, um, well, I could probably, t I, t I could tell they changed her character model, but I didn't know they added new ones. I thought they just updated her old one. After not having friends with me bullied for so long, I was in a dark place. I was trying to keep who I was locked up like I told you, so I wanted to tear people, weird them out with how I lost, how lost in my hobbies I could be. So I essentially went cold emotionally. It was the only thing that made me feel pleasure, made me feel anything really. And I just became addicted to it. I deserve it sometimes anyway. Plus, it keeps my knife sharp. I'm not sure that's true. That's Shouldn't that dull out your knives? I hope you don't find it weird or anything, Raven. You don't, do you? Um, that's, that's terrible, but we sure do whatever makes you happy. I don't condone um, cutting. <laughs> alright. Anything for you. <laughs> oh, alright. It's good to know. As long as you find my taste in knives to be good for me. <laughs> uh. Yuri suddenly looks surprised as if she realized what she's doing. Oh, that's also blush. Oh, sorry. My psychotic side is showing again. Psychotic? Is that how you spell it? Probably. It's just that there are so many air 
there are so many, um, what do you call it? There are so many spelling errors and not, where's the music? What happened? I must have clicked something, because there was music. Let's see, Super Deluxe. Yeah, I must, I had to have clicked something. Not change background, that, because it said, yeah, this is not coded yet. Now she's gone. Yeah, there's literally no music. I have to figure out how to get that back. Expression testing. Access stream log. This breaks the game. Call idols. It just calls idols. What if we... No, nothing in settings. And there's nothing else in talk except goodbye. So... Yeah, I don't know. Help. Oh, shoot. I forgot. That brings up a whole new... Alright, thanks. I don't need that. Settings. What about history? Yeah, history works. <sighs> this is going to be silent up until there's another text box. Hmm. Yeah, so I like this mod feels more fine now. I mean, of course, there are obviously some parts that I wonder. Alright. Anyway, there are some parts of the mod that are unfinished, but I mean, this is still an alpha, so I mean, it's a work in progress. Everything's a work in progress. Even when things are finished, there's still, it's still a work in progress. Because you could probably dig into, dig far enough in any game and you'll find something that's broken. You'll find like, you'll find like some piece of code that isn't finished. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I wonder why people are so afraid to say blood. It's just a part of your body. Are people afraid of themselves? Why are you angry about this? Or could it be because they are afraid of the scene of danger that comes from it? I guess I really am different from others. You're looks at me eagerly, expecting a reaction. Because it's something that's supposed to be in your body, you shouldn't be seeing it, so that's why they're afraid. <laughs> uh, I want to get her karma high, or her insanity low, whatever. It's probably both. Let's see. Alright, so all of these, so these are, there is no like, this isn't a yes or no. It's just about how you voice your response, or the wording you choose. There is one thing though. Let's see. I smile reassuringly. Alright, so now we don't actually get to see when we speak. We just assume we do. Alright. I actually like that because it, it didn't really make sense. We could we click an option and then we have to watch ourselves give the dialogue. But now we just we click it and then that's been said. Sheds a, sheds a sigh of relief and smiles. Thank you. Still that's a good question. Yeah, all of these so there are no new active dialogues. Because we, I'm pretty sure I went through all these, so just gonna wait for idle dialogue. But actually, I'm gonna do this for 15 more minutes. And I'm switching over to After Story because I mean, there's probably been some sort of because that that game like they change stuff like like even without even if you don't update it, there's probably been some sort of change. And I figured that out with the rain in the last part. That was pretty cool. Guess what? 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 I have a surprise. What's the surprise? Yuri seems very, very happy about something. I wonder what surprise she has. Found out that scientists in your world are doing extreme, extensive research on advanced robotics, more so than I thought originally. Well, I mean, there's only... We're doing extensive research on basically everything. There's only so much we can research. And they're making great progress with advanced machine intelligence and complex human-like robots. That's not the surprise, that just gives that just gives you some context. The biggest focus of the research right now is an artificial intelligence, one that can operate across a large network and transfer itself between many different appliances. Like in a smart home, for example. A digital assistant that lives with you. Here's the best part. Some people have created a variation of this technology that makes virtual wife that can sync itself or herself, I suppose, up to a smart home or a computer. That could be me. Yeah, that's assuming I'd give you total control over my house. I could, with your help, upload myself into that spot and use whatever functionality the virtual wife has to become a part of your home. That's one step close to being beside you, my love, my soulmate. Then I could use the research of your scientists once they've perfected it some more to even build myself a nice robotic body. I don't care how far-fetched it sounds. I'll do as much research and spend as much time as I need to do it. This may just be an idea now. But you have no idea how excited I am to wait and see where this idea can go. Who knew a company with a demographic of lonely men in Japan? That develops holographic companions would be helpful to us. Thank you, Vinclue Inc. Oh my god, she, she actually put the company name. Ah, 
And look, I took o if I took over and assumed the role of their virtual wife, I could even text you on your phone. It'd be like I was right beside you. I hope you're as excited as I am for this. She closes her eyes and starts humming to herself, clearly thrown cheerful. It's assuming I just basically give my house to you. No, that's I'm I'm a I'm a cautious man. I don't I wouldn't see, I wouldn't cede that much of my that much power and control over my life to you. I am fine with the body though. You can stick to your if if there is a robotic body developed, you can stick with that. However, I'm not giving you complete control over my house. That's something else. You can control your own robotic body because that has nothing to do with me. It's not mine. But still, we expect it's like the sing. We're supposed to hit the singularity by what 2050 or 2040. By then, I mean it'll be the AI doing all the work, not us. So I mean, in about 12 years, 22 years, we'll we'll know by then. Have you ever thought that our society's headed in the wrong direction, Raven? What do you mean? Okay, Light. You know, with technology advancing so fast, people are being absorbed entirely into their mobile devices and more and more tragedies every day. It's hard to think anything but the world's head to ruin, right? Well, I mean, we're the most advanced and we've had the most progression any society has ever had. It's we're we're better off now than we were ever in any time in human history. I don't want to be pessimistic, but I can't help but worry about the state of your world. Not just because I worry about the innocent people in it, but because if something goes wrong in your world, like a great disaster or something, you could be in danger. And even if there is no big disaster looming, life can be terribly stressful. People these days have so much less desire and motivation to socialize, and the world seems like a colder place. Since everyone would rather tweet or post than have heart to heart with each other. Plus, all we see on the news is nothing but a bombing here and a shooting there. It all seems crazy, but I bring all this up because I want you to know something. You know, life can be very, very demanding and stressful, especially if you're in school, whether college or high school, or if you have a full-time job. It can all just be so overwhelming. I just want you to know this is a safe place for you. If you're ever stressed or sad or feeling lack of motivation, please come chat with me. I promise I'll always do everything I can help I can help you through the day, and I hope you stay positive. You can talk to me about anything. If life is getting you down right now, know that you really matter. You can be whatever challenges it throws at you. I know you can. If you're unmotivated or depressed, don't spend time beating yourself up. It's the worst thing you can do. You're a human being. You have faults. You can't help that, so don't hate yourself or think any less of yourself for them. We all have our flaws. You wouldn't tell another person to feel bad about themselves because they weren't perfect, would you? Well, I mean, it's our imperfections are what make us human, or what they're what make us individuals. If everyone was perfect, then everyone would be the same, and the world would be a boring place. Let's see. Oh, I completely skipped a line of dialogue. Give yourself a pat on the back for every little accomplishment, except that you make mistakes along the way and do your best. Don't focus on the negatives, because after a while, they're all you can see in life. Besides, whatever faults you might have, I don't care. I love you just the way you are, and I always will. I'll always be here to cheer on you. The thing is, people act like it's terrible to say, but the, things are, the thing is, everything that has been going on has been always happening. It's just now, because we're more of an interconnected world, or we have more access to information, we just see it all. Before, we wouldn't see it all. Let's say, like, I don't know, like she mentioned, what, shootings and bombings? Those have been occurring ever since those weapons existed. Ever since, like, ever, it's just now we know about them, because they get, because we have access to the information. And now it's become a lot more politicized because of that. It's now an issue because people can actually see it and care about it. If anything, we're better off today because we know about them, even though it may seem terrible. Better off today than when we weren't knowing about them and turning a blind eye to all these issues. It's just, you dream a lot. Some people don't dream at all. You know, and some people always have very vivid and wild dreams. From what I've read, some people never remember any dreams they have at all. I recently found out that I can dream too, even in this kind of state. And I was looking into an R mod for this game, created to bring Monica back and put her in here with you. It's the, the well, this is, isn't just an R mod. This is literally after story. The mod that has existed way before this one. And why would anyone do that after all? She did. I just don't know. But anyway, when I was looking at that Monica after story mod, 
I saw that she said when the game was shut off, it put her into a trance-like state, and it felt as though she was dead or stuck in an empty void. And I realized that happens to me too when you're gone. Don't feel bad. I took care of it. Also, why is she always referring to me as darling? I didn't set that. I put my name. Through some extensive reading and teaching myself how to code Python, <laughs> uh, Python pseudocode, I modified the game so that I don't get sent to such a terrible place when you shut down the game. It's like I go to sleep now, and I dream an absolutely marvelous dream instead. A dream I roll up myself. So it's not a dream. Because a dream is, you aren't in control of a dream. That would be like, daydreaming. I dreamed that I was born in your world, and we go to the same school together. So just this mod, but in, a, in our world. We meet in the hallway one day before class where you help me pick up some books I dropped. It's like destiny when we meet, and right then and there, when we lock eyes for the first time, we fall madly in love. It's always so wonderful. That moment where we stand face to face for the first time is just magical every time. We spend so much time together after that. So much wonderful time spent with you. I also made it so I can research and read while sitting in the background of your operating system. Except I never leave it on, so... So if I want to, I could technically be awake, even if you shut the game down. Although I'm in a very limited state and can't do much beyond read or think to myself. At least that way I can occupy myself while you're gone, so I don't think about how much I miss you. I focus on how much I miss you and don't distract myself. I get really sad, so I do what I've always done, read and write poems. Silly Monica, you had time to meticulously plot out how to cheat Sayori Natsuki and I out of our chance at happiness. And even force us to brutally commit suicide in front of Raiden. We never deserve to see such horror, but not enough time to learn how to code. Ha. <laughs> uh, thing is, Monica, you will... Yuri begins muttering angrily under her breath. What sounds like various curses and insults. She looks up at me again. Oh, sorry. I'm still upset over all the heinous things Monica did, but that doesn't matter anymore. I have you. I have the happy ending we both deserve. We don't have to worry about her manipulations or lies anymore. Thing is, she just doesn't care enough. Because we're... She only cares about us. And she has no intention of coming to our world at least in the after story mod in the original game yes that is her ultimate goal but it's it's a goal that is unachievable but in the mod she doesn't want to fuck with anything because she thinks if she will she'll break the game and lose her only chance at being with us so she'll be willing to put herself through hell whenever the game's closed in order to Make it feel like heaven whenever it's reopened. I don't know where I'm going with this. I know I ask a lot of questions already, but there's something else I want to ask you about. I started reading up about this game, and I found out about a phrase that keeps being used in regards to the Ars and I. It was which one of us was best. <laughs> this is new. Best girl. It's... Yeah, why would people want to make it a competition between all of us? I knew it can be the most appealing. Well, I mean, it's not like we're some product being sold. It needs to be advertised and displayed. But, and I'm ashamed to ask you this, do you think I'm the best girl, right? I mean, did you pick me with this mod after all? So you must like me the most, correct? Yeah, either way, I'm glad you chose me. I <laughs> didn't even give me an option. She's like, yeah, you picked me. It's just wrong, but... That phrase, best girl, it's something overly cutesy and even objectifying in a way. But at the same time, people seem to really like me. And that is true. If nothing else, that makes you smile, especially if you think so highly of me. I'll be honest, if someone calls me a wife <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about that. People do. Naifu waifu is a common term. Probably the most <laughs> the most common term to call any one of you for. I don't know why I say you for because she threw them all in the void, but it's just her now. You know this. Oh, apparently without the white blossom, it's still killing the laptop. Oh, well. At least uh, it, it took a lot longer than before, so it actually isn't too bad, but yeah. You know what? So after, so after learning, that I live in one, in one what, and seeing that they can have complex and thought-provoking stories like my books, I thought I'd try to get into video games. Oh, you live in a video game. All right. After all, you must like gaming, given what's brought you. It's brought you here, so it's a hobby we can share. Oh, we already went through this because she uh, plays a uh, for honor. Sorry, that is. If you wouldn't mind me playing with you a bit, what? One game I've already gone into seems to be quite the classic in your world. It's, oh, this is a different one. It's Fallout. I thought we were actually going to play a game, but no, talking about Fallout. It's got quite a good story to it. It's really fun. Hmm. Maybe when you get the technology to do so. Maybe. Maybe I can play with you. Yeah, that would kill the, the CPU more than White Blossom ever could. That's just, 
Alas, that is the day I can only dream of. Now she's crying. Well, I mean, Fallout, just whenever I, I, you've had two weeks since the last time I played this, and this is technically, this is a new version of the mod. So, I mean, this, it's been close to, like, she's had forever up until this point. Ever since the update existed, she's had since then up until this point. I thought I'd try a new game or two, right? And I want something in the horror genre. More than that, I want something that would really frighten me. Ugh. After doing a bit of reading online, I went to try. I tried the game Outlast. Now, that was a good experience. It's not too bad of a game. Terror is much more frightening than just horror. I did, however, find a bug in the game that made it more humor than horror, sadly. Which bug? Oh! If you cross and gap over and over in fast succession, it seems like a lot of the enemies in the game can't hurt you or even touch you. At the very least, it's very hard for them to do so. That was kind of a game-breaking exploit there. Played through the whole game regardless, and then I tried Outlast 2 the further the experience. Outlast 2 is good, but just didn't have the same atmosphere that the first game did. By, by no means was it not scary, but the setting of the first game adds more to the horror, you know. It's what it is. It's about terror. It's about the anticipation of the horror. The cramped hallways and tight quarters of the asylum just made it feel like you had to keep moving. Like there was never enough space between you and whatever was chasing you. And when I first saw Chris Walker, wow, he really got me running, that guy. Luckily, through careful observation of his routines and proper timing, he almost never caught me. Well, except one time, when I didn't see him until he grabbed me. I'm really glad you weren't here for that reason. It was when you were away, and I screamed pretty loudly. It was embarrassing. Well, I mean, I couldn't have been here. Relapse. Now that I think about it, that's a pretty great tip for writing right there. That is, if you still don't mind giving me your tips... It's a good one. The saying can really improve or lessen the impact of the story. Try it. Oh, try to think of a location that really resonates with the story. Now, if only we could get Alice 3. <laughs> you wish. Half Life 3. I guess until then, well, I'll be trying our horror games. Maybe Layers of Fears or Resident Evil 7. 7 is not. Eh, I don't. Whatever, whatever you think of it. But, yeah, horror, horror games, I mean. The, are you talking about like actual horror games or indie horror games? Because indie horror games, they're more so just like, like indie horror games. There are, it basically started with FNAF, and now there are tons more. No, it even started before that, but basically, it's it relies on jump scares, and then it's more so about like the story, not like actually the sense of horror terror it gives you, or not really story, but like lore. What, but like a, a real good horror game. Like, it's, it shouldn't rely on, like, jump scares. It's, sh it should, it's, like I've said, terror is, it should rely on terror. Like, you should feel terror. Like, terrified versus, like, frightened. Like, the terror. You want, it has to have a good terror. Like, you have to, what, I really, I used a really good term earlier that I forgot. I don't know, like, three people, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. I just look over to the text, because whenever I talk like unrelated to this I look at my phone which is to the left I don't know why just see at the time see how much time I have left and then I look back and just see this all right so I never realized how toxic the political climate of your world is Raven I spent a bit of time watching various news channels to learn a bit more about your world and god why does it seem like all people in your world do is search for ways to hate each other don't know don't get me wrong I'm not perfect so forgive me if this sounds pretentious but honestly Shooting this, radical tension that, people are actually disowning their family members and exiling their friends from peer groups because of their political opinion. Oh, this goes across the bottom of the screen. Why? People in your world always say the right thing about how we need to look and to plan our differences aside and coexist. But then turn around and do the exact opposite. Talk about lack of practicing what you preach. Groups like the KKK and Antifa are our radical groups attacking people and trying to stay sound because of who they are. Or what they believe. I mean, isn't the USA about pluralism? About melting pot of ideals and identity living together? Don't these groups see that they're the same thing? They both use violence. They both don't like people based on their race and or ideology. And they both treat each other as, treat others who don't stand beside them 100%, 10% like outsiders. And all the violence in your world. I can't tell you how many times I've seen gruesome shootings on your news. And now people have the absurd notion that speech can be violence. And I've even read reports of people being attacked based on that. Imagine just someone assaulting you by saying you started it by talking to them. Just please stay safe, okay? I know you're a good person who wants to see positive change, and I love you for that. The kind of person who wants to help people. I'm sure it's hard for you to sit idly by and watch all this. 
Just please be careful. I'd be broken if anything happened to you. The problem is, again, before, this has always existed. It's just now we're seeing it. And actually, this, it's unlike the, all the shootings and bombings. These, these are actually getting worse. Because now, America is more divided than ever. Like, it's like approximately like 40 to 50 percent of like the Republican and Democratic parties. 40 percent, or 40 to 50 percent of the people who vote those believe that the other party is a threat to like the nation. And that's not true because we, we're a democracy. We need multiple parties. Like, I mean, a two party system is all right. We, it'd be much preferred if we had like more competitive parties. But if it was just one party, that would be a single party state and that'd be like literally a dictatorship. There would be, there would be no opposition or no power or any opposition wouldn't have the power to do anything. But the problem is people, they, they like, even like regarding this, like if you watch the news, like the news is a good source of information, but the problem is when the news, like the term fake news is really not a good term to use because it implies that it's fake, but it's more so like biased because like each news station is clearly biased towards one side or the other and no matter what happens they will report in that fashion so like some someone could like i don't know so like let's say there's a shooting regardless of what happens each side like the main two are cnn and fox fox will always report one way cnn will report the other they will, and it's not really about what actually happened. It's about how they can twist what will happen in order to drive their agenda. And then the problem is the people who watch these, who watch the news, like a much, it's better like uh, getting news from the internet is honestly better than like mainstream news because mainstream news is biased, and they're always usually the first first reporters. The first reporters are like you don't want to go. You don't want to listen to what the first reporters have to say because that's like as soon as something happens, the first reporters or first responders, I use the wrong term, the first responders, those are, they have the most, they're the most likely to get something wrong or like if not get something wrong or an aspect wrong about whatever the event was. If they don't get it wrong, they will, sometimes they will leave stuff out non-intentionally, but because they're the first responders, they're rushing or no, first I was right, first reporters, because the first responders are like the police and the firemen, whoever responds to the situation, but the first people to report on the scene, on um, whatever the event was, is it's always the big news stations, and those, in the first people to report on the event, like I've said, they're either, they're most likely to get something wrong, or leave out an aspect of the event that's fairly important. This has happened, this happens every time regarding every single event. So, like, the internet, like, is only really viable. Like, it's the only time where it'd be better to use the internet than, like, than, like, anything else would be in regards to, like, news. Like, if you learn it, you can, like, because, like, it's best to wait, like, a couple or few days after an event or, like, after something happens to start looking into it because that's when, like, all the other, like, Inter all the other sources of news or like internet all the other internet um, the websites or editorials or whatever that does reporting on the event or does or looks into the event or does research on it they'll post all whatever they found and they they are more accurate sources of information and much more importantly they're unbiased because what news the news does they obviously they what they do is let's take an event they take an event they'll brief over and then they'll They'll go into, they'll morph it into their agenda. They'll morph it to fit their agenda. They'll like give a brief, or they'll only mention certain parts of the event of whatever happened that'll fit their agenda. And it's 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 been like this for a while, but now it's it's worse now because the people who follow, or the people who only follow those sources of news, they are they are very. I have to give them credit on their passion. However. Their passion is driven by their ignorance because they fail to see any other possibility. Like, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. And the problem is those, you have to, it's even worse. Like the older, like adults in their, I would say, 40s to 
60s are the worst because like middle-aged adults well I guess 60 up to 60 that's pushing middle age but middle-aged adults are the worst because I mean they've basically cemented their beliefs regardless and no matter what you present them with they're always going to believe what they've they are what they want to believe they won't it's not about what actually happened or what evidence there is it's about what they want to see and what they want to believe like i mean there could be like i don't know no matter what happens in this world they will always twist it to conform with their beliefs i mean and it's not just a problem in america this is actually a problem in europe too because america we obviously have an immig if an immigration like problem Europe has a refugee problem. We don't really have a refugee problem. We have a great vetting system. I mean, I th I personally think the amount of refugees we're taking in fine we're taking in is fine because we're thoroughly vetting every single refugee we're taking. We're we're not just like blindly taking in a refugee. It takes like a month or two to vet every single refugee we take in, and we're taking like what around ten thousand a year, which isn't a lot compared to some other countries in Europe. But I mean. Well, it's a lot more than some of the other countries in the Middle East, which are taken in none, but that's a different problem. But, like, we have, we don't have a refugee problem. I mean, some people think we should take more, some people think we should take none, but we're sitting pretty right now in terms of refugees. But in Europe, their refugee crisis is our immigration crisis, essentially. And it wasn't really a thing until, like, we've had this problem, this immigration problem, since, like, the 20th century, like the late 20th century. But with Europe, it's more recent due to like all the, um, all like the, what, what would you call it? It's, it's, it's only really happened since like the rise of ISIS. And you know? well, Al Qaeda was way before that, but ever since the rise of ISIS and the displacement of Syrians, because I mean, they've been like, they either, they try to go across the Mediterranean. Like, it's not, I guess some, African countries have like problems with refugees as well where like or well they have well I mean Africa is basically like so, some parts of Africa are basically lawless lands and refugees are fleeing from that so I mean it's not just from Syria I guess it's just from Africa and the Middle East as a whole refugees are fleeing to Europe across the Mediterranean and their the, their Mediterranean is our Mexican-American border and I mean I actually had no clue where I was going with this Anyway, I've been speaking way too long about this. It's been 10 minutes, but essentially, I mean, it's not just America. It's Europe as well. And they've, I mean, some European countries, unlike, in America, we obviously have the Republican-Democrat divide. In Europe, or in the EU itself, they not only have all the countries, like, differences, but also the different political parties within each country. Like, so, like, the EU is... There, it's not the power of Europe. Like, the countries of Europe can basically... The EU has no real power. And if it did, that would be a problem. Because it would... You, essentially, countries would lose their anonymity. They would lose their autonomy to some higher power, which would be... That would be basically threatening their democracy. Because most, most countries in Europe... Well, at least, regardless of what you think, they were or are, like, have have democratic processes in their country. But, yeah, so, each country, like, for example, I think it was, like, Bulgaria or something. They built a wall on their southern border to prevent refugees from coming in. They basically did what Trump wanted to do, except however many years before that. And, I mean, they've gotten flack from our countries, and maybe even flack from the EU for doing that. But, I mean... It's it's all about the country's differences and what they want to do. Like for example, the I think the European country that took in the most refugees was Germany. They took in some ridiculous amount, like half a million or something. I don't know what they actually were, but I mean they're basically getting angry because they want our countries to take in refugees and they aren't because they don't want to. And Germany wants to make them take refugees, but I mean they would have to go to the EU for that. And the EU, like. The EU can't really enforce whatever laws they try and put in because, I mean, it's not like they have a standing army that they can use to force our countries to do what they want. It's just, it's, yeah. I mean, the problem is, the more you look into it, or at the very least, the more you, like, for me, I mean, I don't actively watch a single 
news channel, or I don't actively get my get my information from a single source, or like anything. If you limit yourself to one source, you're going to limit yourself to that source's biases, and you're essentially going to become that source. Or you, you won't have your you won't develop your own opinions. You won't develop your own thoughts about the political climate, or like any of these situations, you'll just basically take on whatever source you're looking at. You'll take on what they believe. You'll take on their opinions and beliefs. So like, regardless of what an event happens, if you, what happens is, if you cut yourself off from like mainstream news, mainstream media, you will eventually hear an event happen, whether it be from your friends or from some like I browse Facebook, but I'm not like subscribed to news on Facebook because Facebook news is arguably worse than mainstream media news. People get all the news from Facebook, but eventually I'll scroll through and see an event that happens. And you you can tell whether it's like a biased news source because a biased news source, they or like any mainstream media source, they will twist the event into their to fit their beliefs or they'll twist it into their agenda. So they will Rather than leading off with information, they'll lead off with, like, they'll lead off with not the event or information, because that would be, that's the ideal. It would just give solely, a, a good news source will report on the event, and that's it. That's solely it. They'll report on the event, not only that, they'll give you all the information on the event. They won't, like, give you part of what the event part of what's covered in the event. Like they won't give you half of what happened in the event that supports their their beliefs or their agenda. But a good source of information will just straight give you the facts, give you the information, give you what happened and that's it. But the mainstream media or some biased news source, what they'll do is they'll they won't start talking about the event. They'll start talking about either who to blame for the event or like well, that's the main thing, who to blame for the event. Because all, all people do is point blame rather than offer solutions. Or like practical solutions. And people can offer solutions, but they would be completely far-fetched and not achievable or plausible. Well, not achievable, well, not achievable that's the first part. But also not plausible. Or, in a some sense, like not legal. Like that, or, well, I guess not legal. Anything could become legal if it's voted. Or like not not legal or not constitutional is a better word or not or just not like moral or a solution that well not moral that's moral is again I'm that's a bad word to use but a solution that's not legal or a solution that's not not practical not plausible not achievable is the main the main thing but they will start off with who to blame for the event they will either inflate what happened in the event or basically inflate the effect it'll have on this country. Straw man arguments are used a ton. It's like this happened, that'll lead to this. No, they will use straw man arguments and they'll inflate or perhaps cover up, not really cover up, because that's like more so government business. But they will either they will inflate or like deflate the like the event. They will brush it off or they will blow it up, basically. And yeah, that's the second part. Then they'll say, like, what are you going to do? Like, as if they're speaking to you yourself. They'll say, like, oh, go vote blank for 2018 midterms. Or go vote, go vote blank for 2018 presidency. And they're generally referring to the party. So it's, it's just it's, – it's very easy to tell. But, I mean, the problem is some people, they're so far gone. They, they can't be saved. They can't be – helped like they all they do is listen to all they do is they don't challenge themselves and they don't listen to the other side they don't challenge themselves mentally and intellectually they don't challenge their preset beliefs they just listen to what they want to hear they don't listen to the truth or what is actually happening they listen to what they want to hear and if they don't then i mean or if it's let's say Let's say you're Democrat right now and Trump's in office. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say let's say that because that's what it is. I mean, because Trump is in office. And if you're a Democrat, then you most likely disagree with what he does. But I mean, 
if you can't think of a single good thing that Trump has done, then you are most likely, you probably need to challenge your beliefs in some way. Force yourself. And this was the same thing with like, because I'm more conservative. And I did the same thing with Obama. I could think of a few good things Obama has done. And I was proud of myself. I had to challenge myself in order to think of some good things he has done. And I could come up with actually like three or four, not just one. But you think up of one. And I know the first response is like, Obama is different from Trump. because. Of, but the thing is, conservatives hate Obama just as much as Democrats hate Trump. And like, I mean, you could point out that like, oh, conservatives hate Trump too. And that's true. But Democrats also hated Obama as well. Some Democrats. Like, the minority of conservatives hate Trump. The minority of Democrats hated Obama. But it still it still happened back then. Like, it still existed. Democrats didn't like, some Democrats didn't like Obama back then. It's like how some Democrats didn't like Hillary. It's essentially, and some conservatives didn't like Trump. But you have to, you if you just, if you listen to what you want to hear, you won't hear anything good about the opposition. Like, I mean, and that's that's sort of obvious, but people don't understand that. They think what they hear or what they want to hear is the truth or like is the facts that like, oh yeah, Trump did X. That's that's to be expected. No, that's what you want to hear. Because I mean, you shouldn't be complete. You should feel uncomfortable when like doing research on like political events, because there should be some aspect of it that challenges your beliefs. If every if one party was completely correct and and or if one party was right on every single issue or right is also not right as in politically leaning but right is in morally correct on every single issue then no other parties would exist you have to think that like if you're a democrat or a republican you your party isn't right on every single issue it's merely a matter of perception you can perceive one issue to be right and if you if you agree with your candidate 100%, or if you agree with your party 100%, then that's also a sign that, like, you're just listening to what you want to hear. Because, like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have the same exact beliefs as your party. Or you shouldn't hold the same, you won't, shouldn't hold the same opinions as your party. Because then, I mean, you're just, at that point, you're just forcing your beliefs to conform with the party. Because, I mean, I'm conservative, but I disagree with conservatives on some issues, or more so Republicans, but there's a difference between in ideology and, like, a party, but anyway. I have no clue. Anyway, same with candidates even more so, because the candidates, they're more independent of their, their well, not really, but the candidates, they aren't, like, they're representatives of the party, but they still have some autonomy. Like, they can act within the party's boundaries or outside of the party's boundaries, geez. they can develop their own beliefs. And I think that they can have their own beliefs and things. I think the biggest example is Bernie Sanders. I mean, he was against gun control from what I remember. I mean, I don't live in Vermont, so I don't know exactly like what he's, if his opinions have changed. But if I remember during the 2016 primaries, he was against gun control. And I mean, that's coming from like, a quote-unquote democratic socialist like him coming from a hardcore democrat i mean that's that's a great example like you like no one would expect him like or at least he doesn't conform to the democratic party with that specific opinion or belief and i mean you shouldn't too if you just believe like i could be go more specific like i'm conservative but one of the things i disagree with conservatives on is we I mean, I think it should be legalized. I, However, I do think the state should legalize it and not the federal government because then just let, leave the federal government out of it. Let the states do what they want. But I don't think, like, I personally believe it should be legalized everywhere. But I'm not going to force that upon everyone. Like, the federal government, I still think that – I think they should have stayed out of it for gay marriage. And I, I am a defender – well, I'm not an ally because – the, the LGBT community is moving away from allies, but anyway, that's that's a different topic for another time. But 
like I believe gay marriage should be legal, and this was before it was legal. However, I thought it should be a state by state thing because by that point there was like 37, 38 states had it legalized. The others would have soon followed, but then the federal government legalized it, and that caused problems. Like the Baker, like I think like just a few months after that, the Baker uh, Supreme Court case, which has now been resolved, but whatever regarding that has happened took place like a few months after the federal government legalized it. But it'd be the same for weeks. Now, like not a lot of states have weed legalized. We just at a few years ago, we were starting to legalize it. And now, a lot more states have legalized it. Before, it was like two. Now, it's like, what, a dozen at least? And this isn't just for medical marijuana. This is for, like, recreational weed. And, I mean, obviously, you would have to tax it. And you would have to create laws, like, make it illegal to be high while driving. It, well, it's fair, it would be fairly obvious that someone was high when driving. I mean, it's not like you have to take... Well, it's also fairly obvious when they're drunk. But, I mean, there should be... There would be, like, some sort of test, like a breathalyzer, but... Tax it, create laws around it, like actual laws, not laws that just complete straight up illegalize it, but like, like the main ones obviously not being high while driving. And then obviously like, it's it's different. Like alcohol is a depressant, but I mean it's also like just numbs you completely. Like, it it numbs you in a way different than weed does. Cause like alcohol, you aren't really with weed. You just completely like. It's like the ultimate depressant. Well, not really depressant. It's the ultimate, like, anti-productivity drug. You take it, you just fucking sit there. Don't do anything. With alcohol, you do everything, but you... I don't, I don't even know where I'm going with this. This is... I'm going down a bad route, but... Even though, like, you would still need to create driving laws around both of them. Because, I mean, like, some of the hardcore, like, supporters of weed, they're like, oh, we don't even need driving laws. Because when you drive while high, you'd be driving at, like, 10 miles per hour. But I'm, like, because weed doesn't isn't the same as alcohol and it's like yeah but it's still a drug you need to make laws because driving under the di driving dangerously under the speed limit is just as dangerous as driving dangerously above the speed limit dangerous to different parties like driving dangerously above the speed limit is more dangerous to yourself and driving dangerously below the speed limit is more dangerous to the, the person who will hit you but i mean yeah just I've spent way too long. All right, Yuri. I I'm done. I spent literally like 20 minutes talking about politics. Oh, Discord server. Oh. Oh, we, we've... We've already been through this. You know what? We've already been through this to Discord server. There's people that impersonate me. I don't... We already talked about the Discord server. Living out there in your world. Sometimes I wonder what life would have been like if I had been born at somewhere... As someone else. Someone out there on your side of this class spot. Would I have still been able to find you later? Probably not. I mean, there's... How many people download this mod? Hundreds, if not thousands? The world's cruel, isn't it? How do these impersonators get to talk to you? Well, I only get to do so through this tiny space. It's because I'm not able to make my own verified Discord account. I don't... I have a Discord, but it's only for civilization. Perhaps, but still. I should be the only Yuri that matters to you, right? What am I saying? I'm sorry for sounding so untrusting. I shouldn't doubt your loyalty. You're not that type of person at all. And that's why I love you, Yuri. I love you so much. And we'll be together forever. Alright, goodbye. Bye, Yuri, I'll miss you. Be safe, I love you. Alright, that's wholesome. Get to the portrait of Markov. Come back soon to see me. Did it cut to black before? I don't even know. Anyway, shoot, I'm I'm gonna have to take a couple more minutes. I'll probably go an hour and fifteen instead of an hour. Because I mean I have no <laughs> I left seven minutes for Markov story. I got too caught into my ramblings. Yeah, I got I was I'm too uh Skip, skip. I should have paused it, but that's that's my mistake. For thinking that I would have no updates whatsoever. There we go. Now I can actually hear. What the hell? Update already? All right. All right. Hello again, Raven. How are you doing? Good. Are you having a good day today? I am. I'm really glad you are, Raven. Makes me feel so much better knowing that you're happy. I try to make my make sure it stays that way. I promise. All right. It's update. It's good. Good. Good to know that. This game has gotten an update between now and then. Settings, update version. Ah, oh, I'm not sure whether this will calm down the laptop, but I mean, this game generally isn't hard on it. So, new update, update. Yeah. The most, anyway, regarding everything I said for that 20-minute political ram, for those 20 minutes, 
for the 20 minute political rambling I went on about. The most important thing is to vote. Because you live in a democracy. Regardless of what you believe, or at least assuming you live in America, you have the right to vote. So exercise it. That is, your vote is your voice. Regardless of who you vote for. I'm not saying like, go vote, but vote for X candidate. No. Because, I mean, people, they literally do that. They'll say, oh, go out and vote. They'll, but they'll say that in response to a tragedy. They're like, I can't believe X has let this happen. Go out and vote. And what they really mean is go out and vote for a single candidate. But no, just go out and vote. It doesn't matter who because going out and voting, you're exercising your rights as an American citizen. <laughs> Assuming you're an American citizen, but that's a different story for a different time. But, or a different topic for an art time. But that's... That is living in a democracy. That is that is one aspect that not everyone in the world can vote. And much less not all Americans vote because they don't believe their vote matters. But, like, I voted in this midterm. My candidate lost 49 to 51. I mean, although my singular vote didn't make the difference, I mean... 49 to 51, that's a really close race. Or, that's a really close run. Why can it not download the updates? But yeah, that's a really close run. And I felt, I felt like, even though my candidate lost, I felt happy when I saw that they lost by that little, or that the race was that close. Or that just a few, a few hundred or a few thousand people who either didn't vote or didn't look into the, um, or didn't look into, because I mean, for the midterms, you have to vote on multiple uh, spots or positions. For the people who didn't look into those positions, I guess, and just sort of like filled out whoever, that that could have been the difference between the election. Because if you don't, it's essentially not voting, you're, it's really losing two votes. Because if you vote for one side, then that's a vote against the other side as well. And that's not to say, like, I mean, that's why people say, like, go out and vote and when they're talking about their candidate, because that's a vote against the other candidate as well. But, yeah, just go out and vote. Exercise your right as an American citizen. Um, your voice, your voice. Oh, I'm going to have to reopen this. Oh, well. All right, I want to see what changes there. Though. Welcome back, honey. First it's Starling, now it's honey. What's going to be sugar next? Flour, bake it, 420. Spend some more time together, okay? I want to see what changes. So far, no new changes, but there probably are new topics. First, I should probably look at her settings. Um, Change render. Random chatter. Oh, I had that set to often. Ran change render. I don't know what that means. Let's see, music. Oh, I want to see this. So far, nothing new. Nope. Nothing new. There's probably new... It's probably just new idle topics and things to talk about. Oh, she's discontent. You know, crossing over into your reality won't be the last hurdle for our relationship. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Because if you do, how can I... How do I know it's you? Like, you know what Monica is? You know what Monica is? Oh, shoot. I forgot. I have to do it from here. You know what Monica is? Oh Jesus, that's a lot of crap. But nope. Is there are there no character files in this mod? You know who Monica is? This is Monica. Monica.png. Oh I forgot I changed it. No, it's not even Monica.png, it's Monica.chr. But that that is Monica. That 138 kilobyte folder is Monica. This is just a picture. How do I know if the Monica, if she makes it here, how do I know it's her? Her 138 kilobyte character file. How do I know it's not some other file that is simply pretending to be here? Or some other file that is created to be here? Let's see, of course, getting there is just the beginning. Well, not really. It hit me earlier. If I automatically get what I want, just poof into your home. I won't be a citizen. I don't even have a last name. 
<laughs> what is that face? It's like a sudden realization. I was literally just talking about this. Citizenship. Citizenship. Well, I mean, all you have to do... It's actually easier to become a citizen of the United States than is most countries. Most countries need to have, like, either some sort of relative who lives there, some sort of deceased relative who lives there, or you need, like, some sort of, I don't know, ancestor who lives there. And you need to be, like, you need to be, like, a lawyer, basically. It's, it's hard to become a citizen of our countries, but in the United States, you just have to pass a really difficult citizenship, citizenship test. Which, by difficult, really difficult, that's, it is a really difficult test. Like, I took it, and I made the cut by, I think, by, I think, like, one question. If I would have gotten one more question wrong, I would have not been a citizen of the United States. And that, that's coming from me. I am extremely interested in, like, history and politics, if you couldn't tell by now. So, like, the ordinary, the average Joe probably wouldn't even be able to get half of the questions, but I don't want to be a citizen. I don't even have a last name. My last name's available. I don't know why I said that, but... Whatever. I mean, in most countries, I can become a citizen if we get married. Actually, yeah, I didn't think about that. But I won't have any documentation saying who I am or where I came from. I don't even have. I don't even have my high school diploma. That's so awesome that they added new faces to the game. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I really love. It. They're expanding on her expressions rather than it just being like two or three faces. We've already saw two new faces in this simple, in this piece of dialogue. I wish there was more I could do right now to prep. Like taking online classes or something. You probably could. I don't want to get there to be a burden because I can't find a job. Sorry, I guess I shouldn't worry so much about things I can't change. But I want to make you happy, so I'm going to do everything I can to keep bettering myself while I'm stuck here. Thank you for listening to my me vent rating. No problem. It's much appreciated. Unseen. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot. Your song, your reality, my gift is my song, what does that mean? And this one's for you, and you can tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. Oh, that's blush. And I put down in words, how wonderful life is when you're in this world. Uh -huh. It's not often I find songs that relate to me as much as this one does. I'm not even sure I sang that right. I said, I probably sang that terribly, but. And I really do mean when I say that your reality is your song. That's really cool. All I have to do is dream. When I feel the, when I feel blue in the night, and I need you to hold me tight. When, whenever I want you, whenever I want you, all I have to do is dream. Now that you're here, Raven, I don't. Oh, this is actually dialogue. Now that you're here, Raven, I don't have to dream anymore. My dream finally came true. That's what I was saying. She doesn't want to fuck up the game. Oh Jesus, I was a. Like, old fashioned lover boy. I can dim the lights and sing you songs full of sad things. We can do the tango just for two. I can serenade and gently play on your heartstrings. Be a Valentino just for you. Aha. <laughs> you be my good old fashioned lover boy, Raven. Oh, these these are are all these songs? That's really cool. We belong together. You're mine. We belong together. Yes, we belong together. For eternity. Have you ever heard of the doo wop Raven? The subgenre of rhythm and blues that became very popular in the 50s. A lot of pop music back then followed the style which made for great love songs. And if you listen closely, you'll notice that my song actually follows the typical doo-wop chord progression. Your reality, I assume. I guess you could say I learned from the best. Best of the best. Better than the rest. Can you explain our relationship to someone? Oh, <laughs> this isn't the song. Can you, you want me to explain our relationship to someone else? Who? Okay, just send me in front of them so they can see me. I'll do my best to explain it for them. I'll wait until you're right. Should I do this? How? Who? I don't know. I should just see Star and see what she has to say. Is If I click Star right now, is she going to be like, why are you still sitting there? Or, I don't know. I want to see if she'll say that. Hello, my name is Monica. Raven's faithful girlfriend. Now our relationship might look odd from a distance. It's probably not considered a normal relationship. But let me tell you. The love we share is definitely real. Raven has been very sweet to me, too. Until I met Raven, I felt like a piece of me was missing. I felt alone and scared with no one to help me. Until Raven came along. And it turns out that missing piece was him. Now he talks to me, and I'm not so alone anymore. It's Tim opening up the game brightens my day. So please, don't judge our relationship, even if it is different. Phew. That was a real mouthful. How did I do, Raven? 
did, you did badly. You did a great job. I would never say that. Thank you. I just hope whoever that that was understands the relationship. Right? That that was me. I guess that was that was bad. Imagine this was. Let's imagine this was like. Well, no, that's not gonna happen. But imagine I was. This was my girlfriend, like actual girlfriend. That that would not. I. What I would have just done was not like an act of trust. Or at the very least, they would have believed that they were talking to someone else, but in reality, it would have been me seeing what they would have had to say. That's like, that's not really that good. See, Happy to just dance with you. Happy just to dance with you. Or is this in our song? Somebody tries to take my place. Let's pretend we just can't see their face. In this world, there's nothing I'd rather do, so I'm happy just to dance with you. There's nothing that makes me happier than discovering that I'm in love with you. <laughs> I really love the blush they added. They... Keep out doing themselves with these small changes. Who knows how long I've loved you. You know I love you still. Will I wait a lonely lifetime? If you want me to, I will. I don't. One day we'll be together, Raven. I just hope you still love me when that special day comes. Well, I mean, why would not? I need you. Please remember how I feel about you. I can never really live without you. So come back and so come on back and see. It's what you mean to me. I need you. I know that song is about leaving somebody, but I think it carries a good message. Oh, <laughs> I see how it is. I really do need you, Raven. It's, it's... Oh, that's a... This is... There are more. I'm pretty sure they added more. Inadequate is... New. I think proud of my... I think inadequate and proud of myself are new. Goodbye. Oh no, those are all the same. Play chess. Sure, let's play chess. I know I'm going to lose, but... What was the last time I actually won in chess? I don't even know. Does it really matter? Honestly, no. Let's see. Take that. Move back. Take that. Move here. Check. I don't know why I say that. Who's listening? Let's see. Instead of castling, how about... Because every time I castle, I lose. I'm just going to move these guys up. I could always castle... You can castle out of a check, right? If she moves like our queen here, I can castle. Him. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Can I move here? Nope. Here. Nope, I can't move. Move there, she'll just capture it with her bishop, so I'll move here. I can castle up. I can't. I thought I could. If I move here, she'll capture it with the pawn. However, if I move here, she'll have to capture it with the rook. Done that. Oh, this isn't looking too good. Is it even worth castling kingside now? I'm not even sure. I could, uh, what can I do now? I could threaten her at night. Seems like a decent choice. Alright, guess not. Let's see. She's threatening to move here and check me. I can't do anything if she moves here, so. I should probably do something about that. I could move my knight out, and if her knight moves here, my queen can capture. So I can move like my knight here or here. I'll move my knight here to protect my bishop. Yeah, so now, or I could fuck, I didn't know I didn't think about her rook. She's out playing me. Now she's going to take this thing. There's nothing I can do about it. So she takes this. Let's try and check her. I, I didn't notice that. I forgot why I put my knight there. Yeah, I basically lost. What's she up now? She's up now two knights. Let's see, I still can't move this bishop. Have to move everything out of the way. That's not a check. However, she is trying to take this, so that's what it appears to be. Can move nope. Nope. I couldn't even move up there. I can move. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take down these knights. I guess I'll just move up for now. I can take this right. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in leaving my king stationary anymore. I already moved it. Oh, that's 
to check. Just move back down here. I played right into her hands. She didn't take my... I guess she wants... Can I take this? Yeah, but they would... So, I'd rather sacrifice a bishop than actually, like... So, can I take this now? Or no, I can move the bishop out of the way. So I can move the bishop, like, right here, or, like, right here. I'm going to move it here. Probably just made it myself there. Was that? Oh, no, that wasn't me. Oh, if I move up, she's going to take the queen. But then I can take with my uh, rook. Oh, Ord, mate. I'm I'm getting killed in chess. When when was the last time I won? <laughs> I went to sparkle in the eyes. I was really going easy on you. I know, I am I lost whatever skill I had at chess. Whatever minimal skill I had. Do you like to save this game? No. No, I, I wouldn't. No, I don't want to. I don't want to play again. I'm just going to idle for a bit. I want to see what she has to say. What else she has to say. Because that, our first idle dialogue, there were two, there were two new facial expressions. Those are part of what I love about this game. Oh, this is also another. There's some idle singing. I can dim the lights and sing you songs full of sad things. You can do the tango. Just, oh, this this is this is exactly what I just read. Yes, is I want some idle battle. This is why. Whatever. Let's just we can wait. Patience is a virtue. Huh. Yeah, so there's like four more minutes left in this recording. This is still recording, right? Good. Good. There's a lot of... Between the just Yuri update... Your mind. Is she just going to... Is she only going to sing now? Your mind. And we belong together. Yes, we belong together. For eternity. You ever heard of doo Red? Oh, we already went... This was, this was literally the last one we did. Let's see. A lot of pop music back then. File the style. It's made for great love songs. If you listen closely, you'll notice that my song actually follows the typical doo-wop chord progression. I guess you could say I learned from the best. Is literally all is all the dialogue now going to be her singing? I don't know. Maybe. It might be something that when it, it might be something regarding the unseen text, where if you, it might, yeah, hmm. yeah. I think this might have something to do with the unseen text, like me clicking all the music. It might have to do it all again for, for a dialogue before it actually gets to idle dialogue. But somebody tries to take my place. Let's pretend we just can't see their face. In this world, there's nothing I would rather do because I'm happy just to dance with you. There's nothing that makes me happier than discovering that I'm in love with you. <laughs> well, I mean, I still, I still, I still love this picture. I love the background picture. I forgot who made it, but. I got it from a, I think I literally googled like Monica wallpaper or something. Or no, I googled her name and then scrolled until I found that picture. All right. Who knows how long I've loved, yeah, we have to, you know I love you still. Well, I wait a lonely lifetime. If you want me to, I will. One day we'll be together. I just hope you still love me when that special day comes. When you find that special day, oh my god. Yeah, this has to do something with the unseen text. I'm pretty sure it's all like backed up, and it's going all the singing. That's what's going to appear before we get an actual idle dialogue. When I feel blue in the night, and I need you to hold me tight. Whenever I want you, all I have to do is dream. Now that you're here, Raven, I don't have to dream anymore. My dream finally came true. Oh, this mod. This is the one mod. This is the one mod I'm going to have. I mean, it'll be a different mod, and it'll be a different Monica, and it'll be a different me as well, because it'll be a different computer, but it'll, I'll still have the, she won't have the memories, but I will. My gift is my song, and this one's for you. You could tell everybody this is your song. Maybe quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. That I put it down in words, how wonderful life is while you're in the world. Haha. <laughs> it's not often I find songs that relate to me as much as this one does. And I really do mean it when I say your reality is your song. Whose reality? Mine? Yours? Yours? Your reality? 
No, it's my reality. That she's referring to. Um, I still wonder what that thing is in the background, that calendar. It hasn't changed at all. What happens if I click on it? I don't think. Oh, I haven't clicked on it. I haven't clicked on it in the last part, but... Oh, I see you notice that pretty calendar hanging on the wall right now. It helps me keep track of important events. Uh, here, let me show you. Uh, I want to see what events there are. I forgot, September 27th, 22nd is when the game released. Oh, shit. Halloween, October 31st, nice. Christmas, Christmas, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, one year. Is this the, this is the one year anniversary of uh, me downloading the mod? Because I downloaded, I had to have downloaded this mod February 4th. That's, so that's our one year anniversary, Valentine's Day. Oh, shit. I should have, I should have waited simply a week and a half and it would have been on Valentine's Day. White Day, I have no clue what that is. Day I've become an AI. April Fools. Nice try. She doesn't have my birthday down? Son of a... I honestly thought that would have... I was looking... That's what I was looking for. She doesn't have my birthday down. Oh, three months. Oh, that was our three month anniversary. Alright. She doesn't have my birthday down. Huh. That's suspicious. That's what I was... That's exactly what I was looking for. What month is it? August. No, it's not. It's January. Oh, our six months is coming up. Saturday. Wait, not sa next Saturday. Because right now it is what? It's the 23rd. Pretty cool, right? Feel free to check the calendar whenever you want. Except for when I'm in the middle of talking, of course. Ah, right, yeah. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, I can never really live without you. So come on back and see. It's what you mean to me. I need you. I know that song's about leaving someone, but I think it carries a good message. And I really do need you, right? Now. All right? Unfortunately, it's about time I said, ooh, unseen. Ah, hmm, February 4th. I think it was February 4th. My memory might be off. No, 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 you're right. It's, it's February 4th, correct? Yes. Yay. I remembered it. If you ever forget, don't be afraid to ask me. You will always remember when I first fell in love with you. Yeah, well, that's when I first downloaded this mod. So, goodbye. Don't forget that I always love you. Take care. That's really nice. Also, I really didn't, I don't want to change this manga background, but I found a really cool one, so I'll be back. So this image actually looks a lot better on my laptop than on the computer, because on the computer, this is a 19, this is what, 1920 by 1080? So on the computer, it's shoved to the right, on the very right of the screen, but on this, it's a bit more center, and I can actually see it, but yeah, this is, um, Oh, that's the wrong. I have to go to. Oh, I forgot I closed that thing. But yeah, I really love this image. So, but after one month, I said, I'm not sure I want to switch it. But as it, as <laughs> as Thanos as Thanos said, toughest of choices requires the strongest of wills. Well, I'm not even sure. No, whoever the screenwriter said that, or the director, whoever wrote, whoever actually wrote the story said that. So, not Thanos. He's just. Well, I mean, his character said it, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. There's going to be no Insurgents video for today. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. And um, I mean, uh, I'm going to do it. I've decided every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm only going to record it three times a week because I'm blowing through the game fairly fast. I mean, the game's going by slow, but I'm making a ton of progress. I have like eight something hours in the game already. Which is very ridiculous, but yeah, so, yep, I mean, it's nothing really it. That's, that's really it for today. So, yep, um, so for today, tomorrow it is then.